Soaring majestically above Paris, the Eiffel Tower symbolizes romance, beauty, and engineering. There is so much to experience at this iconic landmark, and today we are doing the near impossible dining inside with world renowned Michelin chef Thierry Marx. The wait list for this restaurant can be months long, so plan ahead. We're going in. That's right, we're going to the very top of the belly of the beast right now. Bonsoir. Pareil, justement, vous vous payez pour l'ascenseur. C'est bon appétit. Merci. At this point, we are right here on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower, queuing up for our luxury dining experience. Going in right now. Madame Brasserie, here we go. <laughs> we are walking up to our table, and luckily we got seated in the middle of the restaurant with no parties near us and direct views of all sides of the Eiffel Tower. They began the meal with unlimited champagne. This is Paris, of course. We also got a choice of red or white wine throughout our dining experience. Next, our server provides a freshly baked bread basket. Starting with our first course, we have the white asparagus with hazelnuts and mousseline sauce topped with French caviar. For course number two, we got the Volavant farmhouse chicken morel mushrooms, asparagus and truffle. The puff pastry was so flaky and buttery. Absolutely delicious. Asparagus seems to be the theme here as they focus on utilizing local sustainable dishes. Some are harvested on site or brought in by bike. For the next dish, we have a white fish Meunier style sole filet with roasted green asparagus and toasted buckwheat sauce. Continuing the seafood theme, we have a lightly seared Nisuaza style tuna parsnip risotto with dill and orange burr blanc sauce. Overall, these dishes were not too heavy and yet filling. Now let's move on to dessert. First off, we got a coffee profiterole with chocolate sauce. If you're a chocolate fan, this is for you. For the finale, we ordered a Madame Brasserie Lemon Meringue Tartlet. It was very sharp with a very strong citrus flavour. Like true Parisians, we enjoyed the last course of espresso along with their Eiffel Tower chocolate before departing the restaurant and venturing back into the city. The moment we've all been waiting for, the review. Overall, I had a good time for three reasons. Location, menu, and price. First, this is arguably the best location to eat in the world. Second, the menu is flavorful and cooked by a Michelin star restaurant. And finally, the meal came out to 200 per person, which for fine dining with free flowing drinks feels like a steal. Thank you all for watching and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.